Bell Textron Inc., a Textron Inc. company, celebrated the delivery of the 189th AH-1Z Viper to the U.S. Marine Corps, completing the program of record, poor, for the latest version of the storied H-1 platform. Bell completed the UH-1Y poor of 160 aircraft in 2018 bringing the combined H-1 poor to 349 aircraft. Bell has been producing H-1s for the U.S. military since 1959. Bell originally designed the H-1 for the U.S. Army with the iconic QE. In 1966 Bell created the AH-1 Cobra as the first dedicated gunship. In 1970, the Bell UH-1N brought twin-engine capabilities to more than 28 countries, and in 1984 the AH-1W provided the U.S. Marine Corps increased attack helicopter capability. The current generation AH-1Z Viper and UH-1Y Venom are the most agile, mobile, and survivable combination of aircraft used by the Department of Defense. The 85% common platforms are the only two aircraft that share so much commonality, providing the Marines with logistical agility and reduced operating costs. The AH-1Z achieved initial operating capacity in February 2011 and the UH-1Y achieved initial operating capacity in August 2008. The first combined Viper Venom deployment with a Marine Expeditionary Unit occurred in 2009. The H-1 production line is still active in support of foreign military sales to approved U.S. allies. Bell continues to produce a H-1Z Vipers for the Kingdom of Bahrain and will manufacture 8 A-1Ys and 4 A-1Zs for the Czech Republic in 2023. Since the first delivery of the A-1Zs and A-1Ys to the U.S. Marines, the H-1 mixed fleet has accumulated more than 450,000 flight hours through a full spectrum of military operations. Bell will continue to support the US H-1S with lethality, survivability, and reliability upgrades through a long-term modernization plan that helps ensure the aircraft keep an overwhelming tactical advantage for generations. <laughs>